The drug dealers are gone, but the real estate dealers have taken their place. People are paying for a small studio, 15, 16, 1700 bucks a month. Everybody got uh, you know, evicted. Uh, there is uh, no more empty buildings. Look, in that building in two away, there's only two Puerto Ricans there. That building used to be a lot of Puerto Ricans and white and black. I know it's going to change. That's for sure it's going to change. Yeah. No one could afford not here. You won't believe what you're going to say. I just know that people said it was supposed to be the ghetto before. In this area. And now they cleaned it up. I can do anything I want within a 10 block radius. They've got nice restaurants here now. Well, I've heard that this place wasn't very safe before. But uh, now it's just perfect. Well, are there any apartments available in your building? They are invaders. They do not act like us. I don't think they come in and drink a mug of beer and say, well, I'm a hip, you know, downtowner. But when they're from Jersey, living in a three-story house and the mother and father pay for it, they have no clue to what it is to live on the streets. The people with money are going to kick people like me out of here. Nowadays, you can't even sit in your own stoop without them harassing you and asking you for ID. Looked worse was better. Security cameras on a public street, come on. Yeah, yeah. It's not so much the developers, right? I figure it's the system itself. It's not about money, it's about exclusivity. All this, yeah. all this thing, yeah. Yeah, you know, it makes me feel like I'm walking around a prison neighborhood, you know? Right. I hate it, you know? It, it distorts my, my, my mind, my frame of thinking, you know? But you would know if you've been here since 19. 1967, I'm sure that you noticed some of the same. Yeah. Salami.